Hi there, I'm Construction Gamer and this is the UK Northern Powerhouse on Transport Fever 2. This will be episode number 64 in the series and this episode we're going to head up towards Burnley. I would like to build Burnley Barracks and Burnley Manchester Road but I also need to rebuild uh, the junction by a Todmorden. I need to rebuild the Todmorden curve because the junction itself isn't quite in the right location and it would look a little bit odd leaning into Burnley so that needs to be rebuilt and then we can get some trains going up towards Burnley I might oh well, I think as well I'm going to build Con Station well we haven't got the town represented but obviously it's needed for that Burnley branch up towards Con so we'll get that built we are currently on board this Avanti West Coast service heading up towards Manchester Piccadilly on the crew branch of the West Coast well the the crew to Manchester branch of the West Coast Main Line as one goes past there, you know, which we built in the last episode. That's all. So that's all nicely hooked up now, and you've got the branch going off towards Manchester Airport, which is all looking relatively busy. So yeah, we've got this all in operation now, which is good. So we've got all of the Manchester services. We've got the Manchester service via Stoke on Trent, and the Man Manchester service via Crew. 170 people on board, which actually isn't too bad for one of the Avanti services. I know it's still losing £9 million, which is a bit horrific, but uh, yeah, at least it's got passengers on board. You might have seen the time-lapse video. I'm doing a few time-lapse videos now and again, just if I'm doing any particular rebuilds or anything, which wouldn't warrant a full episode. And I've remodelled the approach coming into Manchester Piccadilly. I haven't done a great deal, actually. I've... Uh, separated some of the lines so this one which goes off towards this goes towards Bamford and Glossop is a bit more separated from the other four lines which come in and basically what I've tried to do is get the Avanti West Coast services or rather the Manchester Airport services out of the way of the anti Avanti West Coast services because to begin with they were using these two sets of tracks in here and this this two track section which leads into Manchester Airport was getting really busy so basically I've just changed some of the switches so the cross-country service the Avanti services they do all their switching before they actually get into the Manchester Piccadilly approach just to make sure that things are flowing a little bit more easily because the two platforms here I think they have 13 14 I think they are in real life uh, as they are in real life getting really busy I've got the pre-covid service pattern so basically we've got tons and tons of services which are actually going into Manchester Airport which are just causing a bit of a backlog on here so everything was getting in its way so we've got the, Man the Manchester Piccadilly to Sheffield via Banford service and the Glossop service are almost kind of independent on their own two tracks other than the Manchester Airport to Harbour service which comes in turns around and then heads back out again so that was a little bit of a conflict move that does use the Avanti and the cross-country tracks as do a couple of other services but as a whole the services coming in from Manchester Airport you can see they're stacked here and they're not getting in the way of the Avanti services so yeah done done that not a massive change but just makes things a little bit more efficient and everything actually doesn't seem to be flowing too bad this really was as it is in real life a huge bottleneck trying to cram loads of trains down two platforms just doesn't work and it gets uh, yeah it's pretty crowded as well uh, we've got what we're we looking Warrington Central yeah the East Midlands Railway Liverpool to Grantham service is always going to be an issue because it's a really really long distance service and the trains just all end up getting bunched together so there might be some people who've been waiting there for some time I think when you get an ex exclamation like that it's not the passenger volume it's the how long passengers have been waiting for a service so um, you can see there, Stockport in the Stockport direction, it's in. There's no exclamation, but in the Wellington Central direction, obviously they've been waiting quite a while, and there's a low. Oh God, look at that! Manchester Sheffield's about. Yeah, that's actually having said that. What have we got operating on on that service? There, uh, just just the trains we can see. So we want. What are we doing? Where are you? Uh, Northern. Yeah, Manchester to. What have we got on there? Are they just? I don't know what that is. It's underground, but we only do only have two of them, which could be an issue. Maybe could possibly get away, and they are only. I think the yeah the one five eights aren't they? I think they could get away with being two cars. I don't want to put too many more trains on, although it probably probably get away with it. But we'll just put on some four car services. So it's a one five eight uh, all the way down here, Northern unbranded definitely now, and that will increase our capacity just a little bit there. So. 
gives us a bit more yeah I don't want to put any more trains on that if I can help it so that should help a little bit I think hopefully we do have yeah 384 people waiting probably could we'll see how we get on anyway we do have yeah lots and lots of explanations that's there's not a lot I can do I mean I think I'm squeezing every last train path out of this and there is still the Windermere, well it doesn't go to Windermere on the map, but it would in real life, the Manchester Airport Windermere service as well, to go through here. So you can see it is massively busy. So yeah, we are, I think I think we're getting towards the end of all the Manchester services now. Uh, I think there's a Bolt, yeah, we've done a Bolton service, haven't we? So we've done a Bolton, Black, uh, Blackpool, two Manchester Airport services in there. Burnley, not sure. I think most of the, I think we've got a Blackpool to York via Burnley Manchester Road I want to say and I think there should be a Blackburn service oh uh, yeah, we haven't built Blackburn in this I, I potentially I might build it I'm not sure yet because obviously I don't want to be putting too many new towns in the computer's still just about chucking away with quite a lot left to do so uh, I think we'll get stuck straight in anyway and get this Todmorden Curve Junction it's actually called the Stansfield Hall Junction but I just I keep referring to it as the Todmorden Curve because basically that's one of the projects that was completed a few years back when they built this cord going towards Burnley so they could actually run I think I think that's the way the way around they did it they did it so they could run Burnley services into Manchester which I don't think was possible before so yeah that's uh, that's why I keep calling it Todmorden Curve because that's what the project was called uh, famously got built and then they didn't have enough trains to run any services on it which yeah sounds about right so it needs to be quite far south actually in in real life I think if you're looking on we've got if we're looking on a north-south axis Todmorden curve would be about equidistant with Halifax on the same similar path but the line up towards Burnley is a bit more of a diagonal so we're gonna have to push all of this right back I think even get rid of that tunnel I mean, there's going to be I think there's going to be a lot of ugliness around here to um, to get this to work but I will as always fix any ugliness so there are I've been looking on the map there are a few a few tunnels that we can actually represent brush size but this so this wants to be going like that I know yeah gouges yeah don't worry about it we will fix it yeah big gouge like that yeah because you can see then we've got a, a track running up towards Burnley and the actual track for around Todmorden is more like that so the track leads off from Manchester and then curves its way I know this is all on the same sort of height but we could I will fix all this don't worry so that so the junction is gonna well the track itself is gonna lead off like that up towards Halifax and then the junction itself is gonna be about here and then well, no it's not it's gonna be Where's it going to be? About it's going to be about here, and then this needs to come off in a big gouge, and I will have to fix this as well. Although saying that, that trying to get from up there to down here is going to be tricky, but we will uh, we will try and fix it. So I'm going to leave that tunnel in place, I think, and then we're just going to go ahead and just put the track in to begin with, something something like that, and then curve it like that. I know, yeah, it's all it's all doing some mad stuff, but. Just, I just literally want to get the track in first before I do anything else and then run that off up. Yeah, we'll keep that little tunnel actually. What speed are we doing? That's a 56. That's on a viaduct. That's why. Get rid of that. And then, yeah, I've got a little bit of a tunnel, which is good. And I've got a little bit of a viaduct or a little bit of a bridge rather. No, I wouldn't call that a viaduct into there. Yeah, this curve actually is a lot more curvaceous in real life. A lot, a lot more severe than it is on my playthrough. So that curves in now and what we need to do is think about getting up towards Burnley itself so I think we'll just start by getting the junction in here so we want some what do we want some high speed track no catenary obviously because it's not electrified which I forgot to turn off let's quickly <laughs> de-electrify this line here I uh, don't actually I'm not sure which lines are proposed to be electrified in the future i'm pretty sure the prime target would be the huddersfield line wouldn't it if it was if a trans benign line was going to be electrified it's not going to be this one so yeah good thing i spotted that uh, and then we can just carry on with no catenary this time and we want the junction to be about here it is quite a tight junction in real life but i do want a reasonable speed coming out and we want to make sure it's not ugly either because it is kind of bows a little bit there so we need to be a little bit careful and get that 
into there. 66, yeah, I think that will, that's more than fast enough. I'm not sure, there is, actually, I was going to say, I'm not sure if there is a service, but there will be a service using this line. It's, um, I think it's a Manchester Victoria 2. I think it should be Blackburn, possibly, but we will, I'll have to make a decision on whether or not I'm going to actually build Blackburn. I'm not going to do that in this episode. Yeah, I know, looking at big gouges here again, but I will try and make this look a little bit nicer at some stage. But we do need this junction in for the, the service towards York, so get that in. Just make sure, see if we've, have we managed to just about do it? I think we have. I don't know why you've got third rail. Let's have a look from the other side. That looks... That all looks okay, does it? Yeah, just double check. I've done these things before and they haven't been quite so nice when you've actually taken the, the cab ride at the end. That's when you really start to see any little mistakes or any little glitches. So get that into there. That's all fine. It looks ugly as heck, I know, but I will at some stage. Well, I'll do a little bit now, but uh, I will off camera fix all of this so it looks a lot nicer. But it is... A as far as I can see, it's probably the only way we can actually do this was with this big gouge here, but that's fine. Now what we're doing, run up towards Burnley. Just want to kind of take a little bit of a look at round Burnley just to make sure we can get everything in. I think if we come off from about here, what's that looking like? Is that still actually, it's the only problem with Burnley. It's all over the place. Some of it's kind of high up, some of it's down low, obviously because it's on a bit of a hill. I think I'd like the station to maybe sit down, so I'm going to have to do a lot more work with the terrain. Oh yes, I know, ugliness, more ugliness, but yeah, I want to get that station in there and then, actually we'll get this track up. So coming from here, this should be, I think there should, yeah, there should be a couple of, a couple of tunnels in this actually. So we will actually have just, we'll put a few in just because they do exist. And I know I don't, uh, I don't often build tunnels, but I do. If they exist, I will try and put them in. Now, actually, what I want to do is quickly, as the crow flies to our station location, that tunnel's probably a bit longer than I'd like it to be, so I think I will just, not smooth, level that off to about there, and that should give us a nice little, nice little bit of a tunnel, and hopefully, once I've done all the terrain work and that's not given us a tunnel, oh, it's, damn, right, so, we're gonna, I think we're gonna have to do this bit by bit, aren't we? But at the same time, I want to make sure we're sort of on the right track. No pun intended. So we'll have a tunnel. If we take it from here, that will guarantee us a tunnel and we'll have another little tunnel here. And then hopefully we can just, as the crow flies, straight into where the new Manchester Road station is gonna be. So that should all be, should all be fine. Apart from this little section here, which isn't a little tunnel. We just want a couple of little peekaboo tunnels coming in and out like that and there's a gouge again we'd all be fixed and that's just given us a bit of a, a little bit right okay so let's maybe push that back to there then see if we can force this tunnel to be i don't want it to be too long but at the same time i don't want it to be too short either and yeah we do have a bit of a weird approach there it is going to be yeah that's fine we've got got a couple of tunnels and i will fix the terrain yeah that's all fine actually so we want a station, it doesn't really matter too much I don't think, uh, but we'll have a building, we'll have something or other, guessing what size, building size, small, tracks to platform length 160, so I have it blue because I'm imagining it's going to be a, a, a uh, northern managed station and we'll just chuck it there I think. And then we've got a bit of a curve I think coming out of Manchester Road, actually where is, maybe not that much of a curve something like that now a lot of Burnley a lot of Burnley is going to have to be demolished unfortunately in order for this to work now we're going to have to pause the game otherwise the AI is going to be like no I want to I want to start building now I haven't haven't built anything for ages but all of a sudden I want to start building stuff so we want to get that because we want the track going up to Con and to Burnley Barracks up here so from about here coming out single track this time and then just nice little switch 40 50 that'll do and we'll have a little single track section and a little station buildings i think i will use because it looks this is not much to see really it's a very basic station single platform like so and i don't even think there's any shelters or anything there might be some benches and whatnot but there's definitely no nothing else and then I want to run a piece of track up here, not in a tunnel, but <laughs> in a gouge. Maybe not. Right, let's maybe curve it a little bit and then a little bit up there. Not No gouge, please. 
to them out there, but it has to be. The only problem is it needs to be a little bit more, a little bit more level, something like that. Because one thing I've found, which I've never really paid too much attention bef to before, is that if you have track which is kind of going up steeply and then it comes to a station, you just have like a horrible angle transition to the station which is level. I know you can get stations which are basically on a slant, but I haven't got that mod installed and we have electrified that track as well in the station. So let's get that de-electrified like so. That's electrified as well, isn't it? I think I'm just gonna leave those stations. What I will do is configure these. I'm not gonna have any passenger buildings on them. What I'll have is just some steps, so that's in passenger buildings, isn't on it? Actually, what I want to do before I do that is fences and walls. We'll just have a little bit of a fence down either side, and that just tells us how big the gap can be for the actual steps, rather than having the steps all the way along the platform, all the way along the station, which look a bit rubbish. So we'll have just a couple of basic steps, and the same on column as well. We'll have a bit of fencing, so get rid of that. Make sure we are... No, that's definitely the wrong one. Make sure we are configuring the right station, that's the one. And we'll do the same, just a basic fence, and then we'll go passenger building, a couple of steps, a couple of sets of steps rather, down there, and that should all be fine. So this one is, that's Burnley, that's not Burnley Annex, that's Burnley Barracks. Yep, and then we'll have uh, this one here, what's this one? Nope, Upper Burnley, no, that'll be uh, Colm, like so. And then we're obviously going to have to do a lot of work around here to get that to look anywhere half decent, get all the roads connected back up again. So yeah, I know I might just try and get some development up this area, possibly, if I can. Maybe even instead of having a shuttle bus, which I'd normally have in the town, maybe I can try and get Burnley to kind of go up towards Con like that and around Burnley Manchester Road as well. And then we just need to get this final bit of track off up to there. I'm just going to have a quick look at the map, see if there are any tunnels of significance on this route. I uh, can't see any tunnels, where's where's that junction? But there is a junction around Blackburn, so I guess I probably will have to build or add in Blackburn, I, I reckon. I mean, it's not it's not essential, but I guess it should uh, should be there. And again, more gouges. Got here, yeah, like I said, can't see any tunnels, so gouges it is. And then try, we'll try and at least use a bit of the terrain to work with us. Although it is still going to need a lot of work. It's actually, it's going up and down and all over the place there, isn't it? So bring it over here and then actually bring it down a little bit. It's going all up and down all over the place. So we're just trying to keep in mind that junction. That Not that junction. Yeah, that junction all the time. So uh, curve that in. No, we don't want to be in a tunnel. We want to be relatively level. And then so we've got a junction that needs to come up from Bolton. So it'll be around here somewhere. I'm going to put the switches in, I think just to save us doing that later on. So we'll have a little bit of a straight section of track. I don't really want a little tunnel. It's not gonna have either a decent tunnel or no tunnel at all. And just follow that round, trying to look for that uh, that junction all the time onto the West Coast Main Line. And then looking up towards Settle where I think the route goes. Yeah, so one section goes up towards Settle, which is over there, and the other kind of goes down to towards Bolton. And it's just, you no, know, we want to do it from do it from the other side of the track first. It's always the best way to do these things because it means we get the best junction possible and it just makes things nice and easy. So I will put, what I'll do is I'll just put these two stub junctions in for now, just to remind me, because if we do build uh, Blackburn, then obviously we're gonna have to have Blackburn Station as well. So just put these in as a temporary reminder that there should be something around this sort of ge general direction and then try and get this fed back up now let's see actually if we just do as the crow flies what it's going to do if if it'll actually link up which it does there's a bit of a gouge uh, let's use the topography is not really going to tell us very much although having said that i wish i knew what the elevation difference was between this junction and here because what i think i'm going to do is just oh i've deleted too much of the track is it going to let me put oh it is that's better that's good or rather um yeah, that's far too slow. I think we are just going to have to go as the crow flies around. What's that? 64. A little bit slow, but let's turn that back off. No, that's just rubbish. Doesn't doesn't really do very much. We'll have a little bit of a curve in. I don't want these routes to be too straight, but at the same time, it's just it is just easier just doing crow flies, isn't it? Because you get all your elevations done in one foul swoop, swoop rather than trying to mess around, deleting and whatnot. So if you get that into 
into there. We've got that junction. We might build Blackburn. It might. No, that. Yeah, I think that will do. That will do there. And then, what do we want to do up around here? We've got a lot, a lot to do. So we want a nice, a nice area on which development can potentially go. And then around here, we've got all sorts of different elevations and whatnot going on, which isn't good. And we need to connect this up to Burnley, to a Burnley Manchester Road. So get that. Don't want to delete too much of Burnley, but I do want the roads to be sort of in a decent sort of location. So can I get this one? I don't think no. That's <laughs> still miles away. Right. Uh, ooh, don't want to. Don't like deleting too much because you do run the risk of the town just like not redeveloping. So bring that into there. That should. It's not pretty, but it'll do the job. And then we want another road alongside Burnley Barracks. Something a bit like that. Just curve it in. A bit more. A bit more demolition. Curve that in like so. And then we want a bridge over Burnley Barracks. You know, you're not going to let me do that. Maybe a bit higher then. Nope. Maybe a little bit higher. And then just have that coming down. Maybe on a little bit of a slope then. And we'll just have a girder bridge in around here. Something like that. And then try. And right. So if we get this little bit of road. Just a little tiny straight section. And then maybe we might be able to get up to there. Yeah, we should be alright actually. If we just It's going to have to be done in two sections. But it shouldn't look too bad. It should look relatively gentle that's not too bad I think I'll take that and then just hook that into there and swing that round into there so we haven't demolished too much of Burnley I don't think and then we'll have a road coming out of here running alongside actually we'll get rid of this get rid of this connection just kind of put a road up yeah that'll do and connect this connect this back up to here and I think we'll just have one more connection coming out of here what's that look yeah that's pretty that's pretty hideous, we won't have that. No, <laughs> we'll try something a little bit better than that, I think. So what are we doing? Bring a road, this road, up to here. And then this connection into there, and then into there. Upgrade that so I own it, so we don't get any AI building. And that should all should all be fine, I think. Pretty much most of Burnley is going to be within walking distance of a station. Uh, I might, if, the, if Burnley starts to redevelop over here, I might delete a bit of this, just to encourage some development where I actually want it rather than where the game decides it's going to be so yeah I've got plenty of work to do to make this look a little bit more attractive because it is quite ugly at the minute but we've got made the main bit of Burnley in as well up towards Calm there so that should all be fine what I will do is I'll do a bit of terrain work and I will sched schedule some trains so we do have we have a train that's supposed to go from Blackburn to Burnley and then yeah Burnley Manchester Road and then to Victoria. I might just put a fake station in by a Blackburn until I've decided what I'm going to do. There's a Preston to Con and then there's a Blackpool to York, obviously via Burnley, Halifax, Bradford and Leeds. So there's a few services we're actually going to call through Burnley, which is good. And I guess I do need to put that fake station in around here just for now, just for just so it's got somewhere to call basically and turn back around. Uh, number of no number of tracks, number of tracks. Length of track, so 160, 120. Uh, catenary, no. Uh, just chuck that on there and then just need a little bit of a, a little bit of a junction like that. Obviously we do need some signalling as well, just on not a huge amount I wouldn't say. I think we'll just have one signal here to protect that switch. And then we'll have a couple. Don't think I'm going to have space to stack a train on the junction itself. So we're just going to have to have some switches leading in which are all facing the wrong way. So make those, not facing the wrong way, but there are two-way signals. They need to be one-way signals. This can be a one-way signal, but we're not going to be able to put any signals on this piece of track, which shouldn't be an issue, I don't think. Uh, maybe, no, we don't need a switch there, do we? But we do need a couple a couple around here. So I'll just put one on there for now until we've decided what we're doing. And again, we haven't selected one way. Is that, that's a, that needs to be a two-way signal because that's a single track section. But these need to be one-way signals sorted. So I'm gonna. I think what I'll do is I'll leave you with the Preston to Con service. We should know. I'll take it from Preston. The Blackpool service from Preston as far as Halifax. So we can at least go over the new section of track we we built. I'll do some work with the terrain so it looks a little bit more attractive. But yeah, I'll leave you with that cab ride and leave it for there. There. I'll leave it there for today. Say until next time. Bye bye.